What's up, Leo? This is Soul. And Leo, this is your week ahead, uh, beginning October uh, 21st and ending October 27, 2019. These messages will be for Leo Sun, Moon, and Leo Rising signs as well. All right, my fellow lions, I hope all is well. New week, new energies. I'm using the Bohemian uh, Gothic Tarot to deliver your messages, and I'm also presenting a one-card message from the Halloween uh, Oracle deck, uh, creator Stacy DeMarco. Okay, lengthy passages, and I don't mind reading them all. I thought maybe I could get away with just reading a snippet, but it's as I've um, already done uh, quite a few of them, it's impossible just to read a snippet. Um, sometimes the messages will come across very, very dark, okay, but they're um, they have meaning to them, no matter how dark they appear to. Uh, to be okay so let's see what the energies are for Aries. uh oh i just did aries leo sun moon and rising signs october uh, 21st through the 27 2019 okay messages for leo there are reversals here leo <clears throat> okay shadow card energy leo that may play out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you uh, we have the justice card, Major Arcana. So, okay, this is always about justice being served, things being corrected if they're wrong, things balancing themselves out. I could be uh, reading for uh, some Leos who are dealing with the legal system, working in the legal system, lawsuits, court cases. It could be, you know, baby mama drama and it's uh, child support, all these things. If it's in the upright, it's in your favor. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, Libra represents the uh, justice card as well as the other air signs, Gemini and Aquarius. And uh, remember I said, Leo, that anytime you receive a um, major arcana as the shadow card energy, more than likely it's going to be energy that plays out. OK, your focus, however, is on the nine of swords. And this is actually pretty good, too. So this nine of swords and just to show you what the nine of swords looks like in the upright position, Leo, this is about lies, deceptions, uh, betrayals, cheating, affairs, uh, major, could be some major conflicts. It could be all internal. It could be external or internal and external is the mixture. It's a uh, card of mental agility, mental, mental aggression. Uh, this is sometimes uh, where our thought thought processes aren't too clear because it's clouded with so much uh, conflicting energies. So it's happy for me to uh, present this in the, in the reverse position for you. So it could be that there was a completion of someone who has gone through all of those things that I had just mentioned. Also, too, the Nine of Swords in the Upright is about, um, for me at least anyway, in terms of how I uh, intuit, Leo, unresolved past conflicts, okay, that could be uh, impacting or affecting your present day situation, okay? Now it's in the reverse, so that means some Leos have addressed recent or past uh, conflicting energies, whether they were, you know, within, uh, you know, Leo's own persona, excuse me, Leo's own persona or, or, yeah, I'm getting tongue tied here. Whether it was you personally, Leo, okay, or if the conflicts were involving other people, all right? I'm glad you guys like my humor. Anyway, so that's what we have. Nine of Swords in the reverse position. So that's a good focus of energy for the week, all right? And then just because it is showing up here in the reverse position for you, Leo, doesn't mean that if there were any uh, conflicting energies that were unresolved, that everything has been resolved. No, there's still some residual stuff for some of you that uh, are dealing with those uh, conflicts. But at least with the reversal uh, gives me an indication that you have addressed them and, br and bringing them to the forefront uh, to get to a resolve. How's that? All right. So we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Justice card. And remember, I said the Justice card balances things out. Justice will be served and all the other things that I have mentioned with the uh, justice card coming into play as your shadow. Following that is, yeah, see, there's a need to be happy afterwards. <laughs> justice being served, uh, working on some sort of inner or outer conflicting energies, resolving that. And now it's a need to celebrate. This is someone who is celebrating uh, possibly someone's birthday, someone's anniversary, or just feeling good about yourself emotionally and happy because you're in connection uh, with the company of other people. Okay. Cups represent children. It could represent your children who are bringing uh, this happiness in here. Sometimes this uh, three of cups represents uh, for me, 
getting together uh, with a couple of friends or coworkers after work and meeting for happy hour and so forth. Drinking may be involved. If it is, drink responsibly. But it's a good card. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Male or female represents this energy of the Three of Cups, a time or need to celebrate uh, someone's birthday, anniversary, or just having a good time being in the company of your family members, your children, your significant others, friendships, or romantic relationships. Now we have your energy here. Page of Wands is a court card, and this is news and surprises. So Leo could be receiving some type of news coming up. This is a card of initiation. Uh, starting something or beginning something new. Um, in this particular deck, it has, there's a, a, looks like a young boy in the background playing the violin. So the inspiration could be uh, relative to creative arts and whatever. All right. All those things are good coming in here with the page of wands. News being received. And there's a touch of surprise. Your energy, Leo, and that energy of uh, Aries and Sagittarius as well. Now we have the Page of Pentacles. Now look at this top row here. We have the Three of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups also is uh, a relationship card. So with the pages showing up here, that could be a new connection in terms of a romantic link, a platonic uh, situation again, something going on within the family, and it's involving uh, possibly your child or your children. Page of Pentacles, however, is the start of a new job, possibly the start of uh, beginning to save money. Uh, but it's a newness, it's a fresh start for some of you when it comes to your finances. This could be a little pay raise or a boost in pay. Um, card of generosity. Page of Pentacles represent Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Something's new, uh, and there's something something new is about to occur for uh, some Leos up here uh, this upcoming week. And again, I, you know, I can be um, redundant, but I'm not going to be. However, these messages open up for you and plays into your life. This is what's coming through, Leo. Okay. And I'm so happy that the Nine of Swords is uh, in the reverse position. You don't know because I used to get strong feelings with that Nine of Swords when it shows up in the uh, upright position. But now we have the Major Arcana, the Chariot. So this is also favorable good news. So you have two Major Arcana showing up here, something positively moving forward. Uh, the Chariot represents Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, traveling in all sorts of, uh, you know, could be uh, car, bus, airplane if it is involving those things safe passage to safe passage from someone could be purchasing a car someone could be le leasing a car someone could be um driving for uber or lyft services all those things this could be car repairs uh this could also be um some leo's not paying attention to the uh you know the, the road signs there and then could end up getting a speeding ticket that's the only ding that i get with this chariot the chariot also i equate with the you know the energy of the star card hopes wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested chariot is also a relationship card for me so keep that in mind 